Hi everybody, I'm Christina Mascari and I'm a furniture flipper. And in today's video, I'm going to be building a base from scratch for my own design and trying out spray paint for a glossy look. So if you wanna see this furniture makeover, just keep watching. My furniture makeover for today is this little nightstand and I am making it over as part of the makers challenge for furniture flip season five. If you've been following along on Instagram, the theme uh, this season is make it shine. So metallics or gloss, and I'm going to be doing both today. This is my little inspiration piece that I found and I'm going to try to make my nightstand look like this nightstand. So I'm starting by removing all my hardware and I'm going to prep this piece by cleaning it. I'm using some diluted simple green and a scrubby sponge to get all the dirt and grime off of here and then I'm going to rinse it with some clean water. I got this nightstand off of Facebook Marketplace as part of a set. You might have seen me do the dresser that goes with this last week. So I know most of this is laminate. So I'm going to be scuff sanding it as well as adding a primer for adhesion. And I also know this dated hardware has to go. So I am using some DAP plastic wood to fill the existing hardware holes. The top had a little bit of water damage to it, so I'm going to do some corrective sanding on here. And the top actually does have a wood grain veneer and it was oak, so very grainy. So I decided to use that dap and fill all that wood grain since I'm going for a smooth, glossy look. Once everything was dry, I sanded it down smooth with a 220 sandpaper. Now that all my prep is finished, I'm gonna work on getting this base off. It had a lot of screws on the bottom, so I just unscrewed all of those and a lot of this trim came off. Once I got the trim off, I was just left with two sides, so I'm gonna use my circular saw to get these off. Now I'm ready to start building my base, so I'm just measuring the length of all the wood that I need to cut. I have built bases before, but not this particular base, and I don't have any plans or anything for it, so I was just kind of making it up as I went, and I had a bunch of scrap wood that I wanted to use so I didn't have to buy any new, so I'm using pressure-treated 2 by 2s And I'm just using my miter saw to make all these cuts. Now that I have all my pieces cut, I'm ready to assemble my base. It's going to be very similar to that rectangular shape that I showed you on my inspiration nightstand at the beginning of the video. I'm going to use my Craig jig and make pocket holes on either end of each piece. Because this is a pressure treated two by two, it was too small to get two pocket holes on there. So I was only able to do one. If I was going to do this base in the future, I would definitely get a little bit bigger piece of wood so that I could have two pocket holes on each piece. Because when you only have one pocket hole, it's pretty difficult to get this going. The first pieces were definitely the hardest, but then as I started assembling the boxes, it got a little easier. When I'm doing new techniques like this, I'm building a brand new base that I've never attempted before. I like to do it on smaller projects like nightstands to see if it would be feasible for a larger dresser down the road. In the end, this turned out the way that I wanted it to, but it wasn't that fun of experience building it. I was definitely doing a lot of things wrong and I should have not put the top on before I drilled the holes here on the bottom to attach it to the dresser. But I kept moving forward. I clamped this on to the dresser and then I used some screws to attach it to the bottom. And I don't have really a step-by-step -step for you on how to build this base because like I said, I definitely need to do some tweaks to this before I try to do it again in the future. Because this was the furniture flip challenge, I wanted to challenge myself and I definitely did do that. Okay, after all that building and prep, we are ready to move on to getting this piece glossy and metallic. So I'm getting out my Wagner medium pop-up tent. This thing is super easy to set up and my nightstand's gonna fit in here very nicely. 
So I'm just getting that all set up, putting a drop cloth down, and then I'm going to put my nightstand in here and do just a few more little prep things to get it ready for paint. I'm going to be using my sprayer to prime these and some spray paint, so I definitely want to tape off the inside of these drawers and protect them because I'm going to keep the drawers in while I spray. And I'm also going to prop it up on some painter's pyramid so that I can get the base. So before I get to my glossy paint, I just have a gray water-based primer in my sprayer. And I'm going to put this on here because I did a lot of corrective sanding. And like I said earlier, this piece is laminate, so it's going to help with adhesion. And I'm doing a hot pink color. So having this gray primer is going to save me from doing like five cans of spray paint on here. I like to do primer before my furniture paint now too because it's going to show you any imperfections you might have while you were prepping and here I needed to do a little bit more grain filling and I had a split on the side here so I filled those, sanded them, and I also put a little bit of filler in between all these slats here because I want it to look like it's welded together and it actually ends up working really well so stay tuned for that um, but once I did all that corrective sanding and filling again I did another coat of primer on there. I really love how this primer works in my sprayer. It is super smooth and that is going to give me a great finish when I go to spray paint. Before I add my glossy paint, I'm gonna go ahead and drill my holes for my new hardware. I'm gonna paint the base first, so I'm taping off the top portion of the nightstand and I'm gonna use some gold metallic paint on the base to give it a metal look. The idea here is I want this to look like a welded metal base that's gold and not like wood, so the primer and then doing the gold spray paint on here is gonna start that look off for me. Once I got the whole base spray painted, I just let it dry and then I taped it off to protect it so I could go in with my glossy hot pink color here. I originally bought a can of navy and I was gonna do my piece navy like my inspiration nightstand, but I decided if we're gonna do glossy, if we're doing things that I've never done before, let's do a hot pink piece of furniture because I've never done that as well. Spray painting furniture is pretty similar to using a gun, but your stream of paint is gonna be way smaller, but you still wanna make sure that you're overlapping and not globbing on too much paint. The great thing about uh, spray paint is how quickly it dries so you're ready to do a second coat after it dries for only a minute. I have sped this up. This is about eight times faster than normal speed. It, you do have to go very slowly and be pretty methodical when you're putting on spray paint, but I don't want to bore you guys to death and I don't want this video to be 20 minutes, so just know that this is sped up a little bit. There are lots of glossy furniture experts out there. I have seen them use these crazy ridiculous paints and they have lots of tools and do lots of sanding. This is definitely the DIY way that you can get a glossy look and I was really impressed with how this turned out. I used two cans on this nightstand and they were about, I think $5 a piece. I let everything dry overnight and decided I wanted to add a little bit more metallic shine to my base. So I'm using some gold gilding wax. To me, gold gilding wax mimics the look of like a brushed brass better than anything, any type of paint that I have found. I didn't have to totally cake it in gilding wax because of the gold spray paint underneath, but it just added a little bit extra sparkle. And the final step is I'm gonna add this gold hardware that I got from Lowe's just to give it a modern look. I know there wasn't a lot of teaching in this video because I really didn't know what I was doing. I just tried new techniques, had fun, learned some stuff. Will I be doing this again? I'm not so sure. It was pretty challenging, but just to remind you, here's what I started off with. And here is my piece that I made shine for the furniture flip challenge season five. I am super impressed with how glossy the spray paint got as it dried down. I really do love this color and I love how the base turned out, but it was not fun to build and I definitely need to make some major tweaks before I try to do that on a bigger dresser. Thanks for joining me for my furniture flip challenge reveal today. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeover. I will be back soon with another project. Thanks for being here and I will see you next time.